Joining us now for another It's a Wonderful Lifetime holiday interview is Erica Provo from Saying Yes to Christmas. She's joining us right now on Skype. Hello, Erica. Hey, Noah. How's it going? Oh my goodness, it's going fantastic. Happy holidays to you. Yeah, holidays coming early this year, it feels, with all these Christmas movies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and jump right into the movie. So June goes home for the holidays, hoping to get some work done, but she has more on her plate than what she did beforehand because she says yes to literally everything. This is the movie that you're gonna wanna watch. Yes, am I right? Oh my goodness, see what I did there? Talk to us about it, Erica. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, you sort of summed it up pretty well. The, the movie um, centers around June Kingsley, who is a children's book editor working in New York City and she ends up going home for Christmas, still wanting to do some work. Um, she's very, she starts off the movie being very, very career driven and it's only, like, it's sort of the only thing she sees. Her life isn't very balanced, let's say. But then she's hit by this um, Christmas spirit, you can say, or wish that um, makes her unable to say no to any invitation. So she says yes to everything. So while she's home for the holidays, she was intending to do some work, but she ends up saying yes to every single activity her parents and families and all of that is suggesting. And she gets wrapped up in that. And also um, through spending all that time with her family and childhood friend, or like maybe a little bit more than friend, Blake, um, she sort of finds like what's actually important to her. And it's sort of her journey of transforming um, her career path and her romantic path. and you know, all of that in the context of Christmas. So it's a very sweet little movie. Now, as your character, June, says yes to everything, has there ever been something that you've said yes to that you didn't want to personally do? Unfortunately, yeah. Maybe, like, <laughs> maybe a little too many times when I was younger, more so. Now I think I've gotten mm -hmm. better at actually, you know, saying no to things I don't want to say yes to mm -hmm. um, and being more selective about those things. But, yes, I've definitely said yes to things I didn't want to in the past. Me too. <laughs> now in the movie we see June meets the author that leads her to take her job in the publishing field and she hopes, you know, to get the author a book deal signing with her company. You know, was there ever someone you looked up to that made you want to pursue a career in acting? Oh, that's a good question. Um, to be honest, not really because I sort of fell into acting by accident. I was working as a dancer very um, heavily and that was sort of my career path and mm -hmm. I did this audition for a TV show that was hiring dancers and one thing led to another and it ended up being an acting part and I didn't know I was auditioning for it. So, and I ended up on this on this show and that was sort of how acting was introduced to me. Um, so I didn't really have like a role model or somebody that I looked up to that made me want to act. But as I got into the field, I definitely look up to Sandra Oh. Um, we graduated from the same theater school and I didn't know for the longest time that she was Canadian. So that's really cool as well. Um, and there isn't a lot of like Asian women that I can look up to on mm -hmm. in this industry. So um, she's the first person that comes to mind. I'm sure there are a lot more. But, By the yeah. way, Erica, you're giving me Sandra O vibes, especially with your hair. I can totally see it. Oh yeah, the curly hair. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The curly hair, definitely. Yes, with the hair of it all. I mean, that's. Let's put that out there. I'd love to play some sort okay. of Sandra O relative. Yes, Sandra O, if you're watching, tune into her <laughs> holiday movie, and then maybe next year, Lifetime can get the both of you to do a holiday movie together. You know, basically what I got from this movie is showing what is needed, not what's going to make you money with a broader reach. I think that's a very important way for us to think, especially around the holidays. That being the message, is that what attracted you to this role? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was surprised when I got this script because I was like, wow, this is actually like, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fun, sweet Christmas movie, but there's actually a lot of depth to it and a lot of like important messages behind it. And that was definitely a point that was... Um, that was attracted to, attractive to me that made me really um, compelled to do this movie. Erica Pravo, thank you so much for speaking with us about saying yes to Christmas. It premieres Tuesday, November the 30th at 8, 7 Central on Lifetime, part of It's a Wonderful Lifetime. You take care and have a great and happy holiday. Thank you so much for having me. Same to you, Noah. Thank you. Bye-bye.